It's almost been three years since I published a video here on the channel about an application called Access Dots. This is an app that was initially developed by a community developer that showed you when your cameras or microphone was active and being accessed by an application. Recent versions of Android have this feature baked into the operating system now, but not everyone is using a version that includes this. So today I wanted to highlight a free and open source application called Vigilante that replicates what Access Dots did and does so much more. We can download Vigilante from the GitHub page for the developer Funky Muse, which I'll be sure to link to down in the video description below. But it can also be downloaded from FDroid as well. Once, Once the application has been installed, let's go ahead and open it up and then allow it to ignore Android's battery optimization feature. This app has to be able to run in the background without being killed off, so I understand why it's asking for this permission. We're then going to be brought to the intro screens, which talks a little bit about the app and how it focuses on your privacy. Now that we have been taken to the main menu for the Vigilante application, most people will want to enable the service immediately. So let's tap on the large turn on button right here. When you first try using the application on your smartphone or tablet, then you're going to be prompted to grant the app the required accessibility permission. So at this page, you're going to want to tap on the vigilante app and then enable that accessibility permission. If you're on Android 13 or later, then you will be told that the app needs to be allowed restricted settings access before we can grant the accessibility permission. If you're not familiar with this, I will be doing a video about this specifically tomorrow. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you are made aware of when the video is available. So with all of that set up, we can now go back to the main menu of the Vigilante app and see that it is turned on because the button up here has changed to turn off. Now, as mentioned, this app will give you a visual indicator of whenever the camera is being accessed, whenever the microphone is in use, and when an application wants to know your location data. So we can test this by opening up the camera application. And you can see up here at the top right a very small blue dot that is the default indicator for the camera app. We can test this with the microphone by opening up the recorder application and then beginning to record some audio. And again, as soon as an app has access to your microphone, you will see that with the very small blue dot in the top right corner. Lastly, we can test the app by opening up the Maps application, and you'll see that same small blue dot in the top right corner because an app is accessing your location data. These dots appearing in the top right corner is useful in all, but by default, we don't have anything to differentiate between the camera, microphone, and location data. And not only that, these are actually rather small as well. So let's open up the Vigilante app and then tap on the settings gear icon up at the top right. And if we look in the customizations section, 
you can see we have options for the camera, the microphone, and the, lo the location. So if we tap on camera, we can then tap on the dot indicator option. And from here, we can change the size of the indicator dot. And we can pick a color. So let's change this from the default blue to something like red and tap on select. Tap on back and then save. We can do the same for the microphone dot. So we're gonna tap on mic, tap on dot indicator, change the size, and then we can change the color to something like green. Tap on back so that we can save. And then lastly, again, we can do this for the location by changing the size and then picking the color to something like yellow. Tap on back so that we can save. You can see here that an application is still accessing our location data, which is a great reason as to why I enjoy and appreciate an app like Vigilante. Even though the Maps app has been forced closed and swiped away, we can tell that the location data is still being accessed. Now that we have changed the size of the indicator and its color, let's test the app again by opening up the camera and seeing that now we are looking at a red indicator because our camera is being accessed. And again, when we start to record some audio, we can see that the indicator is now green and is much larger than before. There are a number of different settings and customization options for the Vigilante Android application that you can tinker with, such as alerting you with a sound, ignoring if you even have Do Not Disturb mode enabled, we have usage notifications, and we can change the location of that indicator from the top right corner to the top left, to the center right, center left, bottom right, bottom left, center top, and center bottom. We can adjust the spacing, and on devices with a notification LED, we can change that as well and even include a vibration notification alert. We can do this for the camera, the microphone, and the location. The app also has a built-in feature to display about which apps are requesting which permissions. When you have connected and disconnected the device to a charger. And it will detail when a pair of headphones are connected and disconnected as well. There's even a notification history feature. as well as a page detailing your lock screen history too. Vigilante is a free application that focuses on your privacy by immediately telling you when an application has accessed important sensors on your smartphone or tablet. And because it is an open source app, you can go through the code line by line and compile the APK for yourself.